Magic Q1950 Beta has been released. Join us at Plaza starting on Sunday this week, the 3rd to the 5th uh, of September, to come and see the features. But here's a quick preview of what's in this release. So first off, a brand new feature called our Live Copy Master. If we have a look here, uh, our spots here I've got programmed uh, with three different cues in blue, uh, in green, in a different position, and then moving to a third cue here in red. Uh, now, the example of a live copy master, let's say uh, I forgot to program something for my show, or I was given, okay, here's some pars on the front of the stage uh, partway through or right last minute before doors. So all I've done is I've literally patched them. Uh, you can see those pars on the front of the stage here. I've created a live copy master, which is in my queue stack options uh, in function here, and it's copying group seven. So now when I whack that fader up, it'll copy whatever my spots are doing in group seven and you can see as I change through those cues it now does exactly uh, what the fixtures in those cues are doing copying and you can do that by attribute as well so you could say copy just a dimmer and a color if you wanted when you want you can bring that fader down in and out during the show so that's live copy master we've also added effect palettes something that people have asked for for a long time effect palettes now link to cues uh, just like you'd expect your normal palettes to link to cues so now in my effects window you can see I've got two effects palettes here and it tells me which cues they're linked to. Uh, in Q1 and Q3 here, I'm using this big spot circle effect. If I go on and include uh, this circle effect here and set the size down to say uh, just 15% uh, here and update it, so I updated the palette. Now as I step back through those cues, you can see uh, when I go through there into Q3 again, it's updated and it's using that new size. Uh, also, we've added some enhancements to the patch window. In View Channels View, there's now a window which shows you gaps on your DMX universe. So you can quickly find gaps in the universe to patch those fixtures in without having to uh, quickly look around or work out where your gaps in your DMX addresses are. There's also an update uh, to your QStack window with a new view here, our theater view. Uh, on the left-hand side here, if I click through, to now give me quick access to setting fade times for position, color, and beam attributes directly in the QStack window without me needing uh, to go into the advanced view and view queues individually. We've also updated our heads library a little bit. Inside our heads library, uh, we've now updated our function types to give you names. So when you're patching duplicate element or multi-element style fixtures, so in my show here, I've got some Shovey Professional Color Strike M's. When you patch those, you'll get auto groups and they'll be named. So it will tell you the different types. So a Color Strike M has got the plate and the strobe piece. And you'll see here in my group window, it now gives me those groups automatically labeled for quick access to the different functions of a fixture without me needing to work out the element numbers and make those groups myself. And you've got your view elements view, which shows you here, I've selected the strobe bit in the middle visually as well. And of course you can manually select elements if you wanted as well. We've also updated our layout sizing dialog window. So on any window, you've got the little double square at the top here. When you open it now, uh, you'll see at the bottom all of the windows available and you can drag and drop windows around to build the layout now. So I could say, okay, on my main screen, I want to take the group window and the position window side by side, close there, and I've now got those windows. You can quickly drag and build layouts in this way now. We've also added some function uh, to the select button in Magic Q. Your select button here can now be used to just select an item without actually activating it. That's really useful in your palette windows, for example. So I could say select this palette here, it's not activated it, but it allows me to go in and do things like view the palette, view the information in there, edit it. Uh, in previous versions, if I just click on the palette, of course it activates it straight away, which could be dangerous if you've got the group selected as well. Other things in 1950 is enhancements to speed masters, and we've added here as an example, uh, QStat macros to control speed masters. So on my playback eight here, I've got a spot dimmer chase and using uh, my speed masters, so I've got speed master 2 on playback 10 here, which you can see is uh, controlling the effect in that playback on playback 8. But using now QStat macros, uh, and here's one I made earlier on playback 9, uh, I can now do things like set the BPM. So my BPM is currently at 300. If I run this queue, you can see it's now set it to 120 BPM based off this macro. I could change it now to 300 BPM. I can halt it. I can run it. I can change the source to listen to the audio in from a DJ system, or I can go back to tap to time. I can do divisors, multipliers, and go back to normal again. Also in 1950, we've changed our licensing model a little bit. 
In previous versions, up until 1950, we had a few little quirks, things like MIDI notes needing a Ratman dongle, uh, things uh, for position control needing a wing with encoders. Uh, we've now simplified that, so we have demo mode, reduced mode, and a full unlocked mode. Pretty much the rules stay fairly similar. In demo mode, when you plug in a Magic DMX, you'll still stay in demo mode. Reduced mode applies to our legacy product, like our Dual DMX 2 Universe interface box. Reduced mode gives you what it says on the tin. It gives you more than demo mode, but it gives you a reduced set of features uh, to our full uh, unlocked mode. And then, of course, when you plug in any of our products, like our Mini Connect, Compact Connect, and legacy products like our uh, B4, PC Wing, Mini Wing, will give you the full unlocked mode. You can see more information about our new licensing changes in our change notes, and we also are about to publish a separate video clearly explaining the differences here. So come and visit us at Plaza. Uh, come and see us on the stand for a demo of these features in more detail. If you can't make it to Plaza, we'll be releasing feature videos going into more detail on the individual specifics of these features that we've quickly shown you here now during the next week. So download and enjoy 1950.